Hey, you guys, it's Christina with Leads and Leverage, and I help real estate agents make more time, create more time, make more money, and love every single moment of the journey. Today, I'm actually starting a brand new series for you. We're going to do it every single Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, and it's going to be questions from you guys. I'm going to answer questions. I'm going to dispel the myths uh, I'm in the groups that you guys are in. I'm seeing what people are telling you to do that doesn't work. I'm seeing what people are saying, declaring themselves to be Facebook gurus, have no experience. They're not doing it themselves. They tell you to do it, blah, 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 or they come up with these lies and myths and whatever, and you run your business from those statements. And I am ready to just wipe that all away. So I am here. This is the first episode of this. It's basically so creatively titled question of the week. Maybe we will find a, a new title for that. If you have a title title option, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you can think of something better because you probably can what to call this. But every single um, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon uh, Eastern, I will be on here answering your questions. So today's question, if you will notice in the description of this video, I actually was in a group um, and I it's a group for real estate agents and people were talking Facebook ads and somebody got in there selling services to you guys and said, hi, agents, do you boost your Facebook ads? Did you know that you should have 500 organic views before you boost to get the most bang for your buck? I just, you know, ugh, so many times I don't jump in and say something and just get into a war with people in those groups because really a lot of times it's just a big war. But here's the thing. We're going to talk about the lies we believe and the truths we ignore when it comes to boosting, when it comes to Facebook ads, when it comes to our posts. We're going to talk about that. All right, you guys. So the first thing I would love you guys to do, whether you're watching this live or in replay, is comment below where you're watching in from. I love to know where you're at, what part of the country, what part of the world you're in. And it kind of gives me an idea of what time zones you guys are in. So I know when best to be live for you, what works for you the best. I know for the US, we are heading into our three day weekend, Memorial Day. I know for Canada, last weekend was your three day weekend. So we're all kind of heading into this. Well, at least in the US, we are heading into a three day weekend. I'm wondering how many people have already left for their favorite camping spot, their favorite um, Memorial Day weekend event, whatever. I do know that. Um, Oh, four, five, six years ago was the year over Memorial Day weekend that we bought a motorhome. And one month later, we were full time on the road for 15 months. So be careful with Memorial Day weekends. They tend to be big changes for people, well, at least for us anyway. So let's do this. Thank you for coming. Do you boost your Facebook posts? I'm going to talk about the lies we believe, the truths we ignore. Let's start with the lies. All right. First of all, the first lie that was in the question of this post was we should have 500 organic views before we are boosting to get the most bang for our buck. It's just a flat out lie. Absolutely no. There are a couple of different ways of boosting. Um, you do not have to have any, it could be, you don't need any organic views before boosting. There are some things that you can do called pre-juicing, et cetera, but you've already boosted it. It just, it doesn't make any sense. If you have a page with a hundred people on it, a hundred page likes on it, it's going to be really hard for you to get 500 organic views. All right, you guys, it's just a flat out. I don't know who made this up. <clears throat> well, yeah, I do. I know the person who, who shared this, but I was like, are you for real? Like, really, that's never been an issue. That's never like at all the years of Facebook ads, never even been on there. There have been people who've tried to speculate how best, when best to, to push out a post, when best to, uh, I don't know, put money behind something. That is definitely not one of the answers. All right, the next one. The lies we believe. That we should go ahead and use the boost button. That's number two. No, you should never, ever, 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 you should never, ever, ever, have I said it enough? You should never, ever, ever use the boost button. Never, ever. Most expensive way to run an ad least effective way to run an ad. And it's really, it's meant for people who 
just want to throw money at Facebook and not really get results. That's what the boost button is for. That flat out is what the boost button is for. So you never use the boost button. Talk about what to do in the truth section. And the other thing, most of us only boost listings or open houses. Um, We don't boost other stuff. So we only boost listings and open houses. That is a lie that we believe. All right. And we're going to talk about what the specifics are under truth. So three lies. You do not need 500 organic views before boosting to get the most bang for your buck. That is a flat out lie. Number two, we should not be using the boost button. You need to be using ads manager. Do not use the boost button. Number three, we should not be boosting only listings and open houses, only stuff that gets us a sale, supposedly. Those are lies. All right. The truths. The truth is that your page, your Facebook business page is number one, a conduit from Facebook to your database. You are building your list. Everything about your real estate business, your focus should be to build your list and nurture your list. Build your list and nurture your list. Your page is a conduit from Facebook to your list. That's what it is. There are multiple ways to leverage this conduit. There's multiple ways to get people to swirl around and become, get into relationship with you so they'll go into your list but your page is a conduit. It is not a home. It's not, it's not your hub. Okay. So your page needs to be relationship focused. You are building relationships with people. So your number one truth is that your page needs to be focused on building relationship, which means that what you're boosting needs to be about building relationships, not selling crap. Yes, you're going to sell. So here's the thing. The number two truth is that you should be doing an eight to one ratio for every single thing that you push out through an ad or a boost. Every single thing, eight of the posts should be non sales. They should be all about creating engagement, um, getting people to like, comment, share, having conversations with you that eight of those posts are all about just a relationship. One of those posts are about a sale, getting them to an open house, getting them into an opt-in, getting them to call you, whatever it is. So eight should be not about a sale, just about a relationship. And one should be about a sale. Come to an open house, go to an, here's a new listing, opt-in to get this, et cetera. All right. The next thing you need to be using ads manager, not the boost button. So with ads manager, you're going in and you're going to actually leverage much better. You're going to have much better control over your targeting. You're going to have much better control over your budgeting, over your timing, time, uh, yeah, timing, sorry, over uh, your creative pulling in the post, etc. It's easy to pull in a post that's already been posted right into ads manager and have all that control. It'll cost you less per action. Not only that, you can actually track it better than boosting because you can run cross comparisons. I know that's getting into some some data stuff, but you can actually compare and see what people are responding to better, okay? And you always want to have at least two relational posts, engagement posts, viral posts, whatever you wanna call them. You always wanna have two posts running, posts running as ads at all times. Not sales ones, not opt-ins, not open houses, not etc. You always want to have two non-sales posts running at all times. Why? Because number one, you need to keep a build and keep a really good Facebook ad reputation with Facebook. Always. So you need to have something that doesn't take people off of Facebook and people don't negatively report it in for the most part. Okay. It's number one. Number two, you need to be constantly expanding your reach and getting more engagement. Your page needs to be continuing to get engagement. That is a like, that is a comment, that is a share, that is a page view, anything that's a click through, it doesn't matter. It needs to have some engagement because that builds your reputation with Facebook. And then Facebook pushes out more of your stuff organically. So when you pay and push out stuff that does not take people off Facebook and Facebook likes, they will reciprocate and push out more of your organic stuff. Funny how that works. So the four truths are number one, your page focus is a relationship, your relationship, and it's a conduit. It is not your hub. It's not your destination. You're going to use it as a conduit and build relationships Two, use ads manager, not the boost button. Three, always have at least two relationship focused posts running through ads, always be pushing them out, running through ads. And four, use an eight to one ratio. 
That means for every one sales post, like in a listing, an open house, an opt-in, something like that, for every one of those, you have eight non-sales ads. These are all ads that you're doing going. Okay. That's what you want. Do not use your page to just throw up your listings. Make sure you have eight other posts that are non-sales, non-listing um, related compared to that. So that's the eight to one ratio. Hi, Michael. Hi, Millie. Hi, Misty. That is funny that all the people who have commented so far, your names begin with them. Today must be, must be the M day. That's really interesting. So you guys, there you have it. You have the lies, three lies. You do not need any amount of organic engagement whatsoever before boosting a post at all. And it doesn't give you more bang for your buck. If you do, it doesn't. Um, second, do not use the boost post button. Third, don't boost only listings and listings and open houses. Now onto the truths. Your page is your page focus is relationship, which means that eight out of uh, eight to one for every one single sales post you put out, you want eight relationship focused posts, especially when I'm talking ads here. Two, do not use boost button, use ads manager. Three, always have at least two posts running as ads. Okay, two relationship boosts running as ads. Posts that you boost, but you, you go through ads manager. And, and four, eight to one ratio. For every one sales post, a listing, an open house, an opt-in or something have a, that you turn into an ad, have eight that are relational, non-salesy, no call to action as far as come opt in, come do anything like that. Have eight that are relational relational running compared to your ads. That does not mean you have to have nine running at all times. It just means that make sure you're running eight and then one. Don't run three or four listing posts and only have, have, have only run three or four regular posts, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, you guys, you can ask me your questions. If you want me to answer a question every week, um, any week, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, then please send me an email at Christina at leads and leverage .com and put in the subject line. I'm looking at the put in the subject line question of the week. All right, you guys, there you have it. I will talk to you guys later. And don't forget to let me know your questions because I want to help you. I want to empower you. I want you to get out of being mind controlled by people who don't know crap about what they're teaching you. All right, you guys, there you have it. Talk to you later.